first things I'm gonna do, welcome to Trucker Brown Channel, okay? This is Trucker Brown Channel. I'm Trucker Brown. The first thing I really wanna do is get the obvious things out of the way. Knock them out, okay? So we're gonna knock out the best companies to go to on the Trucker Brown Channel today. Boom, this list is my list, okay? It's not a scientific list that's compiled by data or there's some weird algorithm that I've used to, to, you know, to get this list. This is just a list for me being out in the streets for seven years, been hired at most of the companies and kind of, you know, hearing the scuttlebutt, which is chatter for trucker that is, and then coming to you and telling you from my best experience, what are the top five companies that you should look into when you first get into trucking? That's what I'm going to do today. Now, I would say it depends on your com it depends on your not conversation. It depends on what's going on in your life at the time. If you came into the game like I did and I didn't have any um, anything, <laughs> I was completely broke. I uh, didn't have my license for that long. Uh, different things like that, child support issues, uh, uh, unstable work record, things like that. I didn't have any of those things together, so I probably wouldn't have gotten into your upper tier starter companies. So where did I go? I went to CR England. Now, there's a couple of companies at this starter company with problems area. There's a couple of companies that will take you, and I'm gonna name them real quick. CR England, Crest, Covenant, uh, 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 PH is gonna kill me. Abilene. These are a few companies. The Pam, uh, uh, Stevens. Sometimes, but they're they're a little they're a little iffy. But uh, yeah, Pam, Stevens, and that's about it. Then you're gonna go to a higher tier company. So your first rate companies. They're, they're not first rate, where well, your bottom tier companies are probably gonna be your CR Englands, your PAMs. They're gonna take the people who need a little bit of extra help getting to the game, so I don't even wanna pause. We need pins so that it does not happen again. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's insidious. All right. One, two, three, action. One, two, three, action. I don't even want to say that they're bottom tier companies. They're just companies that are set up to basically bring people in who may have a few issues and things like that. Now, when you go a little bit above that, that's, that's about the, the fifth. The, the fourth level, it would, it, would, it would probably be something you would have to think about in divisions, okay? So if you're somebody that has, you know, a few issues but not many, this may help you out. You can do different divisions, not just the main uh, freight carriers. You could do stuff like, you could do stuff like with dump trucks. Dump truck companies are a little less lenient on who they bring in. Um, they're also local. You get to go home and everything like that. They, <clears throat> that you may not make as much or you may make more depending on what, what, what state you're in. But some people would consider them not to be the top tier job to go to. Me personally, it's a simple job. They do make decent money for better than what you're coming from the streets to coming into trucking, so you can't be against that. Uh, another one that you can probably get into is the container stuff. The container jobs, they're really not that hard to get into, to be honest. 
you'll be able to get a little bit of road legs, but the way the container jobs work, places like uh, A&E Transport, I know Schneider has a few of them, I don't know if they're gonna be easy to get into, but they're, you know, you have to take the load from the place, you, uh, drop it off, take it from the port and the ship or intermodal, drop it off at the place, then you have to drive the empty back, so it keeps you going back to wherever you got hired at like that. Like you're not gonna be like me, I'm a reefer, so if I take a load, I'm just gone. Like, and then from there, that load can go from Alabama to Oregon, and from Oregon it can go uh, to Vancouver or straight down to uh, California. Not with the port, it's gonna keep bringing you back, and they're a little less lenient than your uh, higher tier companies for you to uh, actually be hired. Uh, once you go above that, you're starting to get into the, uh, you pretty much have everything together. You may just have a little bit of job problems or you may have a, just a few things like that or you pretty much can go anywhere you want to go. And this level person, which is around the third or, or second to the best, it, it's going to be your companies like Maverick, Schneider, uh, uh, you pretty much have to have your stuff together to go to these people. And there's people that love those companies. So this is my opinion, because you could go to Schneider and think it's the best thing in the world. Don't ever, this is just an opinion. That's another thing too. Let's just pause that for a minute. This is an opinion. Do you understand? You may go there and have a better situation. I'm just saying, I'm gonna give you what my opinion is and what I think is the top dealer business. And most of the people who really watch me, they pretty much know what I'm gonna say. But, you know, then you go to your Schneiders, your uh, Mavericks, your, your uh, Deckers, your, 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 your Steve and stuff like that. The reason why I say, you know, I don't consider them number one, because from my understanding, they don't do a uh, uh, percentage. Now, I've never worked for those companies. That's just from me being in the game a while and talking to a lot of drivers. So you would have to call them and see if they do percentage, but I don't think they do. And, um, but, but, and they're not particularly as big. I think Schneider's pretty big, but it's not like, it's, they don't have as many terminals the way I like it. And a couple of the different, I like better terminals. You know, at, at Prime, the terms are swanky and they're nice and they're, they're spas and, all type of stuff going on at the terminals. I don't really think these places have stuff like that, but I could be wrong, man. Anyone who works for uh, uh, these, one of the companies I just said, put it down at the bottom, man, no problem, just correct me. All right, number one company level. It's Prime, okay? It's, it's, it, I'm sorry, it's Prime. Why do I say it's Prime? Prime is number one because A, it's one of the hardest to get into, one of the hardest. Uh, 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 you have to have a good driving record. You have to, you cannot have long ports of your, uh, uh, of your, um, your work history gone. Uh, uh, you have to have previous job, good, good, good situations. If they, they get some sketchy stories, they will not hire you. Um, why I like it, you get $800, $800 a week, depending on whatever, whoever the state's doing your taxes, because it's, it's sketchy over there. So we'll just say 800 um, you get $800 a week riding a trainer. Boom, right off the jump. That is crazy. You understand? I, I wasn't getting that. When I came in the game, I was getting maybe two, maybe three. We'll even call it four, because I did have child support too. We'll call it 400, half of what they're getting. The, the students who are riding with someone is getting a flat 800 a month, I mean a week, for being a sweet meat rookie. What? Correct. When I first heard that, I thought it was a lie. I didn't think it was real until I got there and started training with them. And yeah, it's real. I've seen 760, 720, depending on their own back paperwork situation they have. 800 a week. Then you go through your, uh, your training process, which I heard they extended. When I was doing it, it was 30,000 miles. I heard it was 50,000 miles. You have to check someone who's training now. Smitty Vlogs, he has a YouTube channel. Go look at him. He'll know more about that. Um, you, you go through that, they, they, when you get there, they, they'll feed you. Revolutionary, listen, I didn't get the whole feeding situation when, when, where I started at. They will give you these cards because they have two cafeterias in Springfield. They have a cafeteria at like the campus and they have a cafeteria at the actual place. And they will give you a card to eat free. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. So, I mean, I had to take a moment for that because that's, I, I came in, I didn't have money to eat. 
I was going a day or so without eating, bumming food when I was first getting into the game. That right there would have made my process way more easier. So I, I really, really, that really talked to me. It really spoke to me. Um, then from there, the, the training, from what I hear, I didn't go through my training there, but I trained there. Training is very thorough. Then you come out of the game, you got two options. You can go lease or you can go company with, with, with Prime, which I'm considering is the number one company, obviously. Um, but see, their lease situation is percentage. A mega carrier that's percentage. It's not, when you start getting into the lower tier, like the Stevens, sorry, D Raj, the Stevens and all the other people, they're flat rate. It's just, you run for $1.15, $1.10, $1.8, $1.20 no matter what the load is paying. You don't even know what the load is paying. You just, now you're, they put you in a position to where you're chasing miles. No, not at prime, it's, it's, it's percentage. So you could come up on, it, you know, it's a crapshoot. You can come up on big loads just off by mistake. You can just get a load from Texas to Washington that's $4,300, like it can just happen. Now at the same time, you can get a load from Texas to Washington for $2,500. So it's, you know, it's not just a flat like, period, like you, you, this is what you make. So you can end up with weeks that are ridiculous. So th that, that is why I consider it the top tier. The, as far as a mega carrier goes and you coming in with what, no experience, I think personally, it's my opinion that the best way to make some serious money first is to go with the company that is giving you the opportunity to make more money. And I think that personally is prime, I do. You know, because you can come in, you'll drive six, six to eight months, I think it's eight months now, six, eight months, and boom, you can go right to training with that percentage. And let me tell you, someone who's trained, lease with percentage at prime, that's a lot of money, bro, that's not, a, listen, I, I don't work for prime. I do not have a, marketing siphon from Prime. From my understanding, no one in the Prime office likes me. Let's get, let's get that out the way. Like, I'm not a friend. They, they really do not enjoy me as a person. But the numbers are the numbers, okay? The numbers are the numbers. Regardless of our relationship, it's the best deal going. When you first start, as far as a starter company coming in and you're about to come in the truck and you don't know where to go to Prime if you can, okay? If you can't, listen, there's other tier companies I've told you on this video that you can use. But, listen, as far as trucking goes, you just come in the game and don't know where to go or who to trust, Prime is the cat's meow, dude. It, it is, man. It, I don't want it to be like, I'm, I'm not getting no money for this. Do you understand that? Nothing. I'm telling you, just as somebody who's been doing this and observing this while doing it, it's the bee's knees, the cat's meow, dude. It's the wolf's vagina. It is a good situation for you when you're first starting. If you do not, you will regret it. Trust me. For your first year, year to three, for your year one to year three, if you can, you should try to be a prime. That's just, um, that's what the numbers are, man. I don't care. Now, once you start getting into buying trucks cash and getting authorities, that's where I leave because that's subjective and I haven't got no authority or anything like that, so I don't think I should be talking about it. You're new. You're a rookie. You're not even in the game yet. Your first priority should be trying to get on with Prime. That should be the first thing you're trying to do. If you cannot, there's other ways to get around it. Go to one of the other tier companies for six months or so like that. And then when you get your experience and prove yourself, you can start going to Prime after that. But the, I'm just trying to be as honest and trying to get to you how my career would have went different if I would have started at Prime. I wasted a lot of time, a lot of miles, a lot of hours, a lot of drive shifts, a lot of money. I probably wouldn't have been able to get in because I did have a sketchy work history. So the way that I went is I went through a lower tier company first, got my driver's license, got some experience, came around the back end and got in that way. That's not a problem doing it that way. But if you have the opportunity to go, you should be going.
this is the best situation for you. If, if you want to be an OTR driver, okay, if you want to be an OTR driver, you want to have ability to make more money, and you want people that, that with, with, a, with a, a network, we, me and my brother Shooter call it the Federation, with a Federation support, the whole country, like no state they're not in. It, it's the best thing for you, bro. It is. And this is not something where it's like it's a video where it's like, oh, he's getting, I don't get any referrals for this. The people in the office, I'm not their favorite person. I'm telling you because it's true. This is truth. And it's this serious because I've been lost in this game. I have, bro. You don't know where to go. The companies keep, listen, man, if you go to Prime, you work hard, keep your nose clean, don't be crashing and all this stuff. You will, that is the best situation from you from year one to year three. After that, you're out of my realm. I don't, you know, me personally, I think you should just stick with them. If you're to be honest, <laughs> like this game is a crappy game. Do you understand me? It is the worst. So jingle it with my nose, what are you gonna do? Like it is one of them situations that I can't express to you no more that this is where you should start. It's the first video I did in the new digs. Okay, listen, don't do drugs. That's number one. Number two, make sure you sub to this channel because we're gonna we're gonna dig into the meat of it, honestly. I'm gonna sit down and do batch five videos immediately, right now. We'll edit them up and kick them out of there. So you'll see me with the same shirt on. I'll post them every Friday. Do not do drugs. Try to do better. Try to be positive. Try to be happy, okay? That's number one. This is Trucker Brown. Make sure you sub to the channel because this is where you're gonna get the actual truth at. Okay? This is where you're gonna get the truth. Make sure you hit the bell. We're trying to get to 100,000. Share it with every single trucking buddy with you in, in trucking school. Share my videos with them. Don't do drugs. Comment at the bottom. If you disagree with this list, comment at the bottom. If you don't disagree with this list, comment at the bottom. Please. Remember, my Instagram is at Trucker Brown. I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.